Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to put together the double circle slider card. So this is how the card looks when it's closed and then you just pull the sides and it just extends the scene or you could have hidden sentiments here that will pop out the sides. You can ink, stamp, you can do whatever you want on there but with this particular one I've just carried on at the scene there and it says special friend and then on the back you have a stand you have this is your area to be able to write your message you can also stamp and have other hidden messages there and then the whole card will stand up and then the sides will just fold in now this one will fit into one of my box envelopes and I will link those up here I've also made this version now this here is an additions set which I've also got and I'll show you in a moment you can see there and I've turned this into a shaker card you can see all the sequins that move around inside really pretty really detailed and again just pull the sides and you can see I've added some more of the images, the stamped images there. And again, it will all stand up and then just push in the sides. And then this one here, these are all using papers as well from my new collection. Kept it again, quite simple. The only addition is this die here. So everything that you see and all the bits that pull out the side are all in one die set. This is part of the additions and you'll see that again in a second. And then again, you just pull the sides and you'll see the scene there and you've got the stand, yeah, it all stands up nicely and you can just push that all in and this is the one I've done for the Craft Stash YouTube channel so again just showing the construction of the simple format today I'm going to be using the additions but you can see there when you pull out the sides again you have just those cute little animals and this one says go nuts it's your birthday and again it all stands up there so let me show you how to make them okay so this is my first 6x6 size paper pad and you have all these gorgeous scenes and you've got some pattern papers there as well and again I'll just give you an example of some of them you can see that one there and that's one of the patterns I've used a lot from here there's another pattern one let's get another scene there we go we've got that one there we've got the water scene so you get 24 sheets in that one there and there's four each of the six designs so I've gone ahead and cut everything I need and I'll talk you through all of these pieces here now the stamp set I'm using on this one today is the woodland animals, so it's this one here, but you also get the woodland scenes, so you have your deer, your hedgehog, the rabbit, the squirrel and the little mouse there. You've also got the birds and you've got some daisies and some other flowers there and then some really nice sentiments. I have mixed some of them as well, but that's the one I focused on. And this is the additions, so this is the main circle double slider and this is the one I've got laid out here. And then this is the additions and this is what I used here and you can see how you get this lovely frame and all these extra sprigs and that's what I've used to build up the front there. First of all we're just going to focus on this one. So what you want to do is you will have three circles. Now the largest circle I don't use to make this card. That's more, you can use it for this by all means, but it's more to make just plain circle cards. You actually want the next size down and that will mean that you have these pieces here exposed so that people can see that that's what they want to pull. So what I have done is I've cut three using that middle circle. Now you can cut two using the middle circle and then one in the smaller one. You, you you need three, you need one for the front, one for the middle and one for the back. But I showed on the craft stash video a smaller one in the middle. But I want to show you on this one a larger one just so that you've got the different look. You know, you don't really see it because it's hidden, um, but it is there. So it was just, I thought it was a good way. If I do them across the two, then um, you've got the option. What I've then gone and done is with that smaller one, you'll see it's got this kind of stitched, or it's more like tiny little dots all the way around the frame there. And you can just about see them on that one, but you can see them more on this one here. And that's the, the beautiful frame that you get with the additions, but you can see all the little dots just around the edge there. So I've cut my pattern and that's gonna sit over one of these here. So I'm gonna get that stuck down. And then what you will also want to do is cut two of the larger main kind of pull out panel there. So I've got my two in the white. I've then cut two in the pink and that gives you your stitch detail there. And then I've cut two using the pattern paper in that smaller one. You also want to cut two strips using this die here and then two of the mechanism which is this one and that's this large one here. 
You also want to cut one stand which is on the back there as well. Okay, so that's everything you need to cut. With these ones here, one is going to pop out from the left, one's going to pop out from the right. So you just want to make sure these two, you know, you just cut them, you know, just cut two of each. It doesn't matter about direction or anything like that because it's plain paper. But because these are directional patterns, I made sure that that one I cut it so it was going to come out from the left and this one here is going to come out from the right hand side. So I'm just going to get those all stuck down. Okay, so that's those two stuck down and then also that one. So they're all ready to go. Now you want these pieces here. Grab one of your strips and what you're going to do is you're going to weave it. So you're going to go in from the top and then come out underneath and then back in there and then out. Okay, so you can see what I've done there. So you're basically putting it under these two strips here. Now I use double-sided sticky tape to stick this down on my craft stash tutorial, but I'm going to show you with liquid glue here again just to give you the two options. So you want to make sure if you're using glue that you are you use the smallest amount because you can't have any of this leaking out and you want to make sure that none of it touches this. So I'm now going to fold that over and it's going to stick in the middle section. So if I hold that up there, no glue can be around here. The glue is sticking onto this bit here. So you'll see, you want to make sure that freely moves. And then if you just pop a little bit of glue on there, the smallest amount is just a tiny, very small bit of cardstock like so. You know, don't pull it really tight. You want it to be able to, it's hard to do it like this, but can you see? And if you just kind of pinch it, you move it like so, okay? Then you want to add your glue all along that piece, or double-sided tape, and then grab one of these here. And if it's the one pulling out on the right-hand side, then you want this pushed over to the left-hand side. And when you stick it on here, make sure you've got the same amount overhanging each side there. And then stick the end of this, the edge of this piece right up against so it lines up with that and you'll see there I've got an even amount on the top and the bottom but I probably could have come down a little bit more there, I'm just going to slide it down a little bit, there we go. And just make sure that's secure and now I'm going to keep it on there because it would it will work better because it has something against it which it would when we stick it in the car but can you see that now slides, okay. Then you want to do the same with this one here. So again, you're going to weave it so under and under like so. And just bring that right up. I bring it right up to the edge because it just that way you know it's straight. And again, what I'll do this time is just put a little bit of glue in the middle there and just just wrap it around. Now if you do get any glue, you can rub it away with one of these, they're really handy to have, and Craft Stash have them on their, I think it's under their Essentials section. And that will just rub anything away, but also use an anti-static buddy powder or corn flour, and that will take away the stickiness. So if any glue has gone onto here, like I said, if you're using a thin double-sided sticky tape, it doesn't matter, but then if you're using a powder, that will get rid of it, and again, you can see there it's gonna move quite freely once I add the this piece on. So now this time I'm going to have, make sure it goes right up to the edge. So that's now on the right hand side. And I'm going to run my glue down there and again just kind of hover it here first so I can make sure it's kind of at the height I want it and then stick that down. And the, the, the main Kind of aim is to make sure everything's straight. It's nice and parallel with these, with the top here, and it's straight along this side here. But now you'll see we've got our two pieces. Next, what I've been using is these foam strips. Now, if you're regulars on the channel, you'll know I like to use my roll of wax paper and just normal foam tape, and you just stick your foam tape on the wax paper, like so, and then with your scissors you can just cut your own strips of foam tape. So you do want thin strips for this card, but that's a very inexpensive way, it doesn't damage your scissors, but to make your own 
foam strips but do make sure they're thin but these ones here I picked up from Amazon and I'll share the link below but you get these ready-made strips and um, they've just been really handy for this project now I'm going to stick them so they're closer to the top of the card you see they fit in there perfectly and again along the bottom you don't want to go close to the panel because you don't want it to you know stick to that and another little tip as well is again this is the anti-static buddy if you run it along the side of the foam more the red foams the red foam tapes I find are really sticky on the sides but just in case anything was to ever touch it if you just rub that and this is the tip I always say for when I make shaker cards nothing will stick to the sides you'd be surprised but there is adhesive on the sides there but you can see it's far away from there anyway but if anything was to catch it would not stick you're then going to grab some more and you want to do the back again just running it along there and there and I'm just going to repeat that on this piece okay so now they're all ready to go next you're going to grab these other two circles here it doesn't matter whether you have this side on the top and the left hand side on the bottom or if I do the left hand on the bottom top and the right hand side on the bottom it really doesn't matter I'm going to do this side so what you want to do is take whatever one you stick on the top you're going to take the release paper off the bottom like so and when you lay this down the four corners here are perfectly in the circle so if you see there if you just you know line up the top first the bottom will fall into place so don't worry about getting it straight because it's a circle you can just turn the circle Next I'm going to do this one, I was going to put the top on. There's a few ways to do it to be honest, so you'll probably, once you've start, you know, you've done them a few times, you'll find your own way. But with this one here, you just turn this over and then what you'll be able to do is just see, yeah, I can see this corner of this one underneath. I'm just going to sit that so it's about the same and then focus on that corner. And like I said, the rest will all line up. Just push that all down and then this is the back, so I'm just going to take strips off there and then I'm going to stick this one over the back. So, and then just take these ones off the top. And you want to make sure that you do get your image lined up. So to make sure these side pieces are straight, like so. And then I can just sit this over the top. Now your sides will pop out. That's how you just put the basic one together. So if you just have this die set, that is everything you will have. Now for the additions, which is this one, you'll see you have the special friend and you get this frame. So to make the frame, I use, so I've stuck those are two other dies that you get in there, but I used those two together to get the red frame, if you would prefer that. So that's what you would do there, just put them together just to make your frame. But I use this one with the stitched one here. So let me just grab it here. So there's lots of different ways that you can put your scenes together. Pop it in the middle, pop some tape on it so it's nice and centered and run that through your dye machine in your chosen color. And I've decided to go for hot pink because it's one of my favorites. And then you could turn it into a shaker card. You could add um, acetate to the back side of this, foam tape all around, sprinkle your sequins and sit that over the top. And that's what I did to get this one here. But I'm not going to do that with this one because what I want to do is I want to add my little critters kind of tucked in and I'm going to build up some more of the foliage with the loose dies here, okay? So that one's all cut and then you can move it around depending on where, see I quite like that piece to kind of fill this green space like so and I'll get that perfect white border there as well. So for this one I'm going to actually bring in that strip of foam tape that I cut earlier because this is nice and long and I'm just going to, because you don't have to add dimension to this frame if you don't want to but I do want it lifted so I can tuck things in but I'm just removing the release paper as I it around with my right hand. I'm just using my left hand to kind of shape it. I want that piece down the bottom so I'm just going to focus on the same pattern paper below because it's the same size because it was cut from the same die and then just kind of 
work your way around until it falls into place like so. I think that looks so pretty and then I'm going to go quite full and I'm just going to add little bits of glue to the ends and I'm just going to start feeding in just some of these sprigs just to break up some of that pink but I want the the ends just to be hidden you know behind the frame I might pop that one in there it's just nice to mix up some of the colour as well as bring in maybe this one here I'll trim that right down but I might have that one just kind of sitting there and then I've stamped these ones here I just need to colour that one in which I'll do in a second and I'm going to have my special friend it will sit perfectly it's the same curve as the circle that's going to go along the bottom we've got the both stamp sets the dies for both the stamp sets are in this one here so they're the stamps and I've again focused on the woodland animals you'll see the two there I love the bee it's got great expressions the two of them there oh there he is and um, also the dragonfly there you've got all these other lovely sentiments as well and I'm going to pop them on some foam as well but I think I'm going to have him maybe he's going to cover that butterfly but it doesn't matter he can be a little bit higher and then this one, Mr. Fox, will just kind of be popping out. Maybe like, or maybe, no, I'll do that actually. So he's a little bit further there. So you can see those butterflies. He can be there. The dragonfly, again, a kind of be poking his head out there. And then I might have Mr. B on the outside, like so. Yeah, I think that looks really nice and I'll add those bits in as well. So I've added foam to the sentiment because I think that works really nicely. And then I'm just going to use just glue to attach the rest. And again, make sure you get this right in the centre. Make sure these two pieces here are always nice and straight and then you can line up everything else. Okay, so if I just bring that up there you can see everything and then again pull out the sides and you can stick anything on here but make sure it's completely flat, don't add any foam. So I do also have the little mouse here from the other stamp set so I may well pop him, I might just have a couple of, a couple of little flowers and maybe have him over this side just kind of looking in there so I'll just stick these ones down. There we go, so there's something there. And then we need to add the stand, so I've already cut that one. Now what I do like to do, this one, is just go over the score line. So it does, it puts them all in for you, you don't have to, but because I'm using a 300 GSM cardstock, I like to just go over them. So just find a track that it fits in and just score back over those, like so. And then with this tab here, so this small section, make that so it's a mountain, okay, like so. And then the next one will be a valley, then a mountain, and then another mountain. So you have that shape. Then add some glue to the tab, and then stick it together, like so. And I'm going to add the glue all over the side where you've just joined it. Can okay, I always forget, and I've done this in the craft stash video, don't put the glue right down the bottom but the good thing about using Kalau is once you rub it it will start to come off and it doesn't damage your cardstock. It's a really good glue before it actually completely dries because once it dries it, it dries like cement but you do have wiggle room and you can it doesn't damage your card. Can you see that? It just all comes off perfectly. So don't go right down to the bottom and then you can just stick this over the top. You know I've made so many of these cards yet I still put the glue right down the bottom. <laughs> Just make sure your special friend sits nice and you get an even amount of the frame there on each side. And then just turn it over and you can just push that down with your hand. Okay, so that's that all finished and I'm just going to add some glossy accents over the eyes because it wouldn't be complete without them. It doesn't take long to dry. Now if I bring that up, you see the light when it catches their eyes. They've got a bit of dimension there as well. And then just pull the sides and I will add some glossy accents onto the mouse there as well. Also added some, you see the Nouveau drops, the yellow drops on the ends. So I may well 
do that on this one as well. You'll see it in the photos. I'll probably put some white ones on these. So I think the white will really stand out. Um, but you can layer up a lot more. There's more of those extra sprigs in the die set for you to use. And um, yeah, I just love it. So check out the tutorial for the box envelope. Like I said, it'll fit into this perfectly. And I'll just bring in the other ones there as well. Let's pull them all out so you can see. There you go, just about get them all in. So as always, thank you for watching. I hope those of you that have purchased this collection, you enjoy using it, you enjoy making the cards. I've thoroughly enjoyed designing this and putting it all together for you. Links to everything that I've used will be shared in the description box below. Check out the videos popping up here as well. There'll be the release videos so you can see more cards from this collection. And I'll be back very soon with more fun tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.